That little Cassius Clay from Louisville, Kentucky came up and stopped Sonny Liston, the man who annihilated Floyd Patterson twice. He was going to kill me. But he hit harder than George. His reach was longer than George. He was a better boxer than George. And I'm better now than I was when you saw that 22-year-old undeveloped kid running from Sonny Liston. I'm experienced now, professional. Jaws been broke, been lost, knocked down a couple of times. I'm bad. Been chopping trees. I done something new for this fight. I'd have wrestled with an alligator. That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Bad dude. Bad. Fast. Fast. Fast! Last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast! Incredible. And you, George Fullman, all of you chumps are gonna bow when I whoop him. All of you! I know you got him. I know you got him picked. But the man's in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how great I am. George Fullman, he's good and he's strong. He hits real hard. But before he hits you, he draws his punches back and he warns you. He says, like, I'm getting ready to hit you with the right hand. He'll go, mm. Watch I'm getting ready to hit you with the left. Oh, another time, let me tell you, he, he will not listen. Somebody told me George Foreman was awful strong. I said he should try a band roll on. That's a deodorant. Certainly, <laughs> Arlene looks very tired indeed. In fact, he was merely planning the execution. <laughs> something that's sweeping the nation throughout America. Old people, young people, ladies, men, all throughout the colleges, everywhere that I have toured since the Williams fight, they're trying to do the Ali Shuffle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the regular dance that I use just before the shuffle. I'm moving and I'm moving and I'm jumping around and just before you know it, Ali <laughs> Shuffle from the side view. See, that's the side view. Then this is Ali Shuffle from the front view. And just as soon as you do that shuffle, a split second right after that shuffle is a good punch. <laughs> we have Muhammad Ali with us because he's with us live via satellite from New York. Can you hear me, Muhammad Ali? Yes, I do. How are you? I'm well, thank you, Ali. I've got to tell you, uh, Ali, that uh, you are not getting our award because it goes to a British uh, sports personality. But I'll tell you what we will do. Ooh. I tell you what, who's we it going to? I tell who's you what, it going to? That fellow named Beth? <laughs> He's not as pretty as me. Somebody said he was pretty. Just before we close this interview, give us some idea of what you think uh, is happening with Joe Fraser. When do you think you might fight him again? Well, number one, he's too ugly to be the world heavyweight champ. <laughs> Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier is so ugly, his face should be donated to the Bureau of Wildlife. <laughs> that man, that man, let me tell you, he can't write no poems, he can't predict no rounds, and let me tell you, I'm not conceited, I'm just convinced. <laughs> Harry, listen, I'm so modest, I can, admit my, I can admit my own fault. And my only fault is, I don't realize how great I really am. <laughs> ¶¶